The VR50 HD allows for up to four layers of video to be composited into one output. Start with a background shot, then add a picture-in-picture, picture, then another picture-in-picture picture or key, then finally a still key. Here I will set up a multi-layered output shot based on all of these layers. First step is to decide on a background shot. Here I'm going to choose my wide shot of the guitarist on video channel one. I want to highlight his use of pedals on the ground, so I'm going to create a picture-in-picture picture of that shot, which is on channel two. I start by pressing the composition setup button. Then, when picture-in-picture picture is in my edit screen, I choose source. My pedals are on HDMI 2, so I'll choose HDMI 2. Exit one layer back. Now I'm going to hit the preview button to see where my picture-in-picture picture is. From here I can grab and I can drag it anywhere I want on my screen. Then I can use the value knob to adjust exact right sizing I'd like to get for it. Now when we exit back to our main menu, you can see that I have my picture-in-picture picture live on my preview screen, but I don't have it live on my program screen. To take it live, I simply press my picture-in-picture picture button in the lower, left cor lower right corner of the VR50. Next step, I want to overlay a lower third graphic with the guitarist's name at the bottom of the screen. I've set up a template with Keynote on my computer. Now I will jump back into the composition menu by pressing the composition setup button. I'm going to choose the picture-in-picture picture key then adjust its source. Here, I have set up my background to be on HDMI 4. Press exit once, then choose detail to make sure that the keying is on and picture in picture is off. Then I also wanna make sure that I'm set to Lumi black since I have a black background and I wanna key that portion out. Now I can exit the menu. Now I'd like to choose to preview my picture in picture key. If I exit out of this menu, you can see that my graphic shows up, and then I can use my key level for my picture-in-picture -picture key down at the bottom right of the VR50 to adjust the exact amount of black that I want to key out. If I exit out of this menu, you can see that my key has not yet gone live. It's in my preview menu. If I hit my button for picture-in-picture -picture key, it now goes live to my output. The last step is to set up my final layer, which is my company logo, which will stay up over all my other layers. I already created a still using the output capture. I'll choose my composition setup button, choose to edit my still key. I'll go into details here and make sure that I'm on Luma key for my black background. Once I have that set up, I can exit this menu and I can make sure that I preview my still key. Now you can see my graphic came up in the lower right corner. Exit my composition setup. Now I can see that I have that logo ready to go, and I can press my composition still key button to take it live to my program output. So there you have it, a professional multi-layered output set up in just a few minutes.